Hi, this is Jeanette Setembre from the New York Daily News, and we're kicking off our new food series, Pinkies Out. Get comfortable. We're about to wine, dine, and help you unwind as we devour New York City. So we're behind the line at Dish Plains in the West Village with celebrity chef Mark Murphy, and he's going to give us a recipe that's going to be the talk of the tailgate today. Mark, tell us what we're cooking up. Well, you know, we're keeping it really simple. I want you guys to be able to make this at home. That's the most important thing. We're going to make a very good nacho. Nachos, I think everybody loves them. You figure when you're uh, talking nachos, that's what you're going to have while you're probably watching the game, right? So what I do is I take a little sizzle platter. You can put it on a, um, on a cookie sheet if you have that at home. And we like to make a nice little layer of cheese. Then another layer of the nachos on top of the chips of the tortilla. We use a corn tortilla chip here. And we pop that on top. Now you're gonna pop that in the oven until it's all nice and melted. Another one of my favorites, I think, when you're watching the game, is gonna be some wings. And now we make these wings, we par, we blanch these off, so they're basically cooked all the way through. We're gonna to toss them in the fryer right over here. And the thing with the, uh, with the wings is, you know, in a restaurant or a bar, it's gonna be really easy to throw something in the fryer and make it. You might not have that at home. So you could actually just toss them in the oven and get them crispy in the oven. Toss them in a little bit of oil and crisp them up in the oven. That works just as well. Then they're baked. People are gonna think they're healthier for you. Yeah. I mean, you know, it's Super Bowl Sunday. Who cares? Who cares? You only live once. Now, what um, is the ideal time that we should be frying for? These are gonna go in there. They're already cooked through, so you just wanna get the skin crispy on the outside, probably about two or three minutes. And then we've got this sauce. We mixed this up earlier. It's a sambal, which is a um, a nice spicy sauce. You can buy that. Most 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 uh, specialty stores have that. We have a little sesame oil in there. We have a little lemon juice, a uh, little brown sugar. We'll give you the recipe. We'll give you the exact quantities. But this is at Ditch Plains, one of those things that people, it just flies out of here. People love these wings. And uh, for good reason, you're gonna find out very soon. Very excited to try. So tell me a little bit about the flavor profile of the sauce. Is it spicy? Are we gonna get a little sweet? It's a little spicy. There's a little bit of the, the, the sort of toasted sesame flavor in there. It's uh, they're, they're just really nicely seasoned. Seasoned with authority, we might say. Yes. <laughs> Mark's new cookbook coming out in April. Yes, April, so April 28th. So why did you choose to make seasoning the star of your new cookbook? Well, I always find sometimes, you know, you go out to eat, you go to people's houses, and they're like, how can I make this better? I'm like, it's not seasoned enough. This would be great if it was seasoned. And so you just gotta season it with authority and it would work. All right, so let's, the moment of truth, we're gonna try these wings. Mark, are you gonna go with the flat or the drumstick? I like the drumstick better, the drum, the drum wing. Here, that one's yours. Okay. No, no, that one's yours. Drum roll, please, for the drumstick. I'll have one, I'll have one of the other ones. Here we go, okay. Mm -hmm. You see what I mean? People love these things. So good. It's got a kick to it, Mark. That's why you have this. Ooh, Mark's gonna spice up the tailgate, ready? Cheers. Cheers. Pinkies out.